What's going on guys? Calabas and I here with another video out on Lake Orville again today. It is a beautiful, hot, hot day. Very hot. I believe today it's reaching just under 100. I think it's reaching like 98 today. So definitely a scorcher gonna be jumping in the water because you know, that'll feel good. Water temp from last time was like 74 averaging. So, I mean, I was mainly staying back in like the creeks and stuff, but so it might be cooler a little, or a little cooler in the main lakes, but for the most part, it's pretty warm. So uh, not really sure what's gonna happen again today. I think, you know, keep it pretty simple. Jig, Sanko, drop shot, and uh, maybe a top water if I can get a bite on that. I'm not really sure. When I was walking down the dock, I saw a few uh, bluegills on bed still, so that maybe, uh, for at least a Senko, throw a similar color to bluegill and stuff like that. But. Uh, yeah, just gonna go out there, go fishing, have some fun, and uh, go fish. See what happens here. fish baby look how he freaking choked that jig heck yes a little sculpting action oh man he was not going anywhere Ooh. really he was not going anywhere nice same thing as last time man they are chomping it nice little pound and a half spot we'll take that Spotopotamus choking the Mr. Big Lure Company jig, as always. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Oh my god, he freaking. No, he, he had it again. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, let's see if he'll follow it down again. He got like three marks on the spear, and I think they're following the jig down. Yep, called it. <laughs> oh man. Third time's a the charm there. I think I can get one of his buddies. They ate all my claws, but let's see if I can still catch them. set up and uh, there we go another spot figured because at the ramp like I said uh, saw some bluegill beds or bluegill on beds so I figured why not nice little fatty there uh. my god that was the very next cast got him back to back yeah buddy It's pretty good uh, color change there, I guess.
jig, found a bluegill imitator, and uh, got myself another little pound and a half spot. Well, that little change worked pretty dang well, I have to say. There we go, another one. Well, that one's better. That's pretty big, actually. Oh, yeah, I got real big in here. <laughs> See? Jig catches everything, man. this bike. Get in the boat here, son. Freaking munch the jig. Yeah. Nice little spot. Oh, it is a fun jig bite day. That's all I gotta say, man. Next cast. Yeah. Oh, jumper. <laughs> there we go. Like when that happens. In here. There you go. Dude. Oh, Jesus. Feisty. Like, look at that. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry. No, 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 Oh. Alright, well, he just released himself. <laughs> oh, another one. Yeah. Uh, this one feels small. Oh. Well, he grew a little bit. <laughs> a lot of times they wait till right at when they're at the boat to fight again. <laughs> Alrighty. Dude, like, look at that. 
every time. Just down their gullet. Eat, oh, sorry about that. Eating it good. There we go. Give me my curls back. Thank you very much. See you, little guy. I'm fishing a lot of back in the little creeks, little cuts and stuff. Nice and shallow in there. Figured right by the ramp is a big old steep wall. Figured I'd give it a shot and uh, turns out there's a few fish on it. So uh, let's see if we can catch some more on it before we get out of here. Another one. Oh, back to back again. <laughs> Freaking just eating it on the fall. So fun, man. A little better one. Get up on here. Jesus. Feisty guys. <laughs> and we're good as new. There we go. <laughs> Even the little guys can't resist it. Today. All right guys, so wrapping up the day here. Just wanted to show you the few baits. All right guys, wrapping up the day here. Just a little afternoon session on Lake Orville. Second time out here. And it turned out to be a pretty fun day. There was only two baits that, or actually only one bait, but two colors that I caught fish on today. And that was the Mr. B Lure Company jig. So I'll kinda give a little more in depth showing of that and it's kind of the two setups I was throwing them on if I can maybe get them all right first one which I started off and probably caught the majority of the fish on was Mr. B Lure Company sculpin and purple jig twin tail grub right there cinnamon and purple flake is what it actually is half ounce got my skirt trim pretty good there only got looks like six or seven of the weed guard left and that's just because for these spots I got small miles and for the most part I'm not really snagging anything so I trim most of it just to get rid of that you know maybe losing a few fish because I can't bite down that brush guard and I got that on just a lose speed spool six seven or a six eight one gear ratio and then a Dobbins Colt series CL734 and just love this thing for finesse jig rod or finesse jigs. It is my finesse jig rod for the most part, and also chatter baits. But I freaking love this rod. I've been using it a lot. And then just 15 pound P line floor clear for that. The other setup is also a loose speed spool. You guys probably can tell. I like these reels a lot. Same gear ratio, same line, 15 pound P line, and then this rod is a loose speed stick seven foot medium heavy same thing pretty good for finesse jigs i use kind of a all-around rod i can throw sankos on it throw some top water whatever i really want but this this actually wasn't the jig that i was throwing earlier i lost the jig and i did show you kind of a close up but this is the next closest I had to kind of a bluegill imitator just some green pumpkin and purple flake same thing twin tail grub and yeah, that was pretty much the what I was catching all the fish on today. So if you guys haven't already, go down in the description. Check out Mr. B Lure Company Jigs. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. Quality jigs. Use my code, Calibasson, 10% off. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got more videos coming soon. Probably going to do maybe another Lake Oroville one. Hopefully, I'm going to the Delta here soon. It's been really windy lately. This is kind of the only problem. Um, and I just don't really want to get thrashed around all day, but we'll see. So, uh, yeah, peace.